Hi everybody, I wanted to show you a really cool gearbox that I designed and 3D printed. It is driven by a NEMA 17 stepper motor and has a gear ratio of 300 to 1. This gearbox is mechanically tough enough to do some heavy lifting without stalling or shearing off the teeth, uh, even though it's made of plastic. The overall system has 10 stepped planets in a driven carrier. The planet gears orbit sun gears in the middle, and the difference in tooth count between the sun gears drives the output shaft's rotation as the planets orbit. I'm calling it sun-to-sun -sun epicyclic gearing with stepped planets of incremental phase offset, or stasegwa spoipo. Ugh. Well, let me show you how it works. It's this side here. So this is the complete motor assembly, and it's the gearbox and a little stepper motor hanging off on the side. And if I take off the front case, you can see in green, the carrier, it carries 10 gears that orbit around the center gear, which is the output gear. And if I was to uh, run it, let me just come up here and drive that joint. You can see the stepper motor turns, the stepper motor turns, the carrier turns. It makes the yellow planets revolve around that red gear and the case. And if I run it really fast, there we go, you can see that it makes the output gear turn. The ratio is actually pretty high. And I'll show you why in a second. If I take off the uh, cover for the planet carrier, you can see the planets. And the planet gears, if you look at them up close, it's actually three gears in one. Each one of them has three different sections. The top and bottom section are the same, and the middle uh, is different. They're all the same in terms of number of teeth. It's 15 teeth, 15 teeth, 15 teeth. But where they differ is in the phasing and in the module, so in the uh, actual gear size. Let's look at this thing in cross-section for a second. I'm gonna just turn off the uh, turn off the planets altogether. So here is just the case of the gearbox. It has its own gear built in and the output gear. If I look at this in cross-section, actually I'll turn the front case back on. You can really see it. In this situation, the output gear, which is red, is free to turn. It just has a couple of bearings. So this could just turn around and around. And it has 50 gears all the way around, 50 teeth. And then the case has 51 all the way around. And when you put the planet carrier in, the planets each bridge across. They go from the case to the center gear and back to the case. It's 15 teeth, 15 teeth, 15 teeth, the only, uh, and, and this end and this end are exactly the same because they mesh with the case and these teeth line up straight across. And the only difference is the center teeth are out of phase. They sort of slip phase. And I'll show you what that, I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's go around here and look at the inside view. You can see the output gear and the case gear are here in the middle and the planets rotate around. And for every full rotation of that planet carrier, so in other words, that, that carrier that's holding all the planets, every time it goes around once, it makes the output gear slip by one tooth or advance by one gear tooth. And it's not really magic, but what's going on is that the output gear has 50 teeth and the gears in the case of the gearbox have 51 teeth. And each one of these carrier gears, if you see carrier gear number one, for instance, the teeth are all in sync with each other. They line up, so 15 teeth line up. If you look clear across the gearbox at number six, they are 180 degrees out of sync. And it's kind of like that. Each tooth advances by one tenth of a gear, because there, there are 10 gears, and each planet basically enforces that phase relationship. 
between the output gears teeth and the case teeth. I'll try to do this slow enough that you can see it happening. Something that I think is really cool about this particular gear arrangement is that you have all of the planets fully engaged. So you have a lot of tooth engagement and uh, it makes for a very strong, very robust gearbox. It's very difficult to make this thing skip teeth. The teeth are all engaged all the way around. So if you were to try to break the gearbox by shearing off its teeth, you have a lot of teeth to contend with. In fact, you could scale the scheme up so that you have even more teeth if you wanted to. So you can get away with having a well balanced, pretty flat gearbox with a rather high gear ratio, uh, pretty low friction as compared to something like a worm gear, uh, and uh, high mechanical strength. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time making it and learned a lot about using fusion and 3D printing and fitting gears together. If you want to create your own version of this gearbox, I placed links below the video for downloading 3D print files and also a list of parts that I used. Also, if you do succeed in creating your own Stasegua Spoipo, please share it. I'd love to check it out. Thanks.